Hey guys, Andy here and welcome back to my channel. Sana may natutunan kayo sa 5-minute marketing video natin last week. And for this week, what I will share with you is all about celebrity marketing. So ano ba yung celebrity marketing? Diba, simpleng-simple lang siya. Celebrity, artista. Ito yung time wherein you invest on a personality or a celebrity to promote your products or your services. So I'm gonna give you guys the pros and cons and the advantages and the disadvantages of doing celebrity marketing. Again, before we even start this discussion, I want you guys to understand first the definition of celebrity marketing. So ipoproject ko ulit siya dito and basahin muna natin so that grounded tayo at alam natin yung definition before we start and discuss it. So guys, dahil nabasa nyo na yung definition ng celebrity marketing, I want now to share my top 3 things why I believe investing in a celebrity through marketing is quite beneficial and impactful for your brand. So guys, yung number one advantage ng investing in celebrity marketing for me is that it helps you tap new markets. So when you invest in celebrities, it's like you guys are investing because of his or her followers. So yung mga diehard fans niya and yung mga followers niya, talagang nagigain mo siya automatically. Kasi nga, yun nga, especially if this these are a uh, new market that you want to penetrate or these are new target audience that you want to attract, investing in a celebrity will definitely give you that advantage and leverage. So yung second advantage guys for me ng celebrity marketing is all about personifying your brand. Again, if you partner with a celebrity, it helps personify the brands that and the services that you offer. Say, for example, if you partner with a celebrity na talagang kind-hearted or yung talagang yun nga, parang ano siya, di ba? Yung parang known for supporting a lot of charities. Automatically, guys, yung brand nyo or yung company nyo, maa-associate na kagad siya dun sa personal attributes or dun sa personal behavior nung celebrity na yon, which is really good. Say, for example, mabait siya and alam niyang lahat ng tao na talagang supportive siya sa mga fans niya. So, automatically, yung brands or yung service mo would be associated na ganun din. So, that's one good thing of uh, investing with celebrities. So, it helps you personify your brand. So guys, yung pangatlong advantage for me ng investing with a celebrity is that when you do celebrity marketing, it helps build trust and credibility for your brand. So yung uh, yung celebrity automatically, di ba, ma-associate siya dun sa brand mo. And he or she has millions or thousands of followers. So automatically guys, ma-attract mo yung lahat ng followers niya and yung mga solid hardcore fans niya to believe to your products and to your service. And what you want to do there is that kung meron siyang 100,000 or 1 million na fans or followers, syempre ang gusto mo is ma-attract mo sila at bumili sila ng products and service mo. So what that's what I mean when I say it adds credibility and at the same time, it adds trust to your brands or to your service. Okay? Always remember guys that celebrities are also human. So ibig sabihin, there are times that their stardom or yung kasikatan nila will also fade. Sometimes, of course, not all the time. But of course, sometimes there are instances na pagka syempre hindi na ganun ka lakas yung influence ng celebrity, chances are with with if you are still investing with them or if you are still with the celebrity or still supporting them, chances are the brand's reputation or or yung mga bibili ng products will also go down. Again, this is not always the situation, but there are instances that that happens. So you just have to take note na, again, when you invest with celebrity marketing, make sure that the celebrity is always very aligned to your brand's objectives and through your brand's values. Para again, uh, kahit matagal na yung partnership, it's still very solid and it's very organic. So even though na medyo mag-fade ng konti, yung kasikatan ng celebrity, makikita pa rin yung association niya doon sa brands, sa company, and sa services na in offer mo. So guys, 
Just to summarize my idea of celebrity marketing, always remember that content is king but distribution is queen. So ano yung ibig kong sabihin nun? Pagka meron kang magandang content with your celebrity or with your artista, dapat yung content na yon may maganda siyang distribution channel at may malakas siyang distribution channel. Kasi kung maganda lang yung content mo at hindi alam ng maraming tao, it's useless. So again, always remember that content is king but distribution is queen. So guys, kung bago lang kayong nanonood dito sa YouTube channel ko or sa Facebook page ko, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you guys to subscribe, like, and share this post to your friends. So guys, sana may natutunan kayo sa 5-minute marketing video natin this week. Again, kung meron kayong mga marketing strategy o mga marketing tactics na gusto nyong malaman dito sa channel natin, comment down below at sisiguraduhin kong babasahin ko yon at pibigyan ko kayo ng mga realistic marketing solutions at mga business ideas that you guys can implement by yourselves. Again, I'm Anvi Factora. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again next week.